And then revealing the secret your doctor doesn't want you to know. Gynecologist Dr. Suzanne gilbert Lenz is here to help us out. And by doing so, she is betraying her colleagues. She's sharing the things they never want their patients to hear. So why are you willing to spill the secrets? I'm spilling the secrets, Dr. Oz, because I think secrets are dangerous. And, you know, I have a lot of the same concerns, as I'm sure you do, as our patients, and a lot of the same issues. And here's the real thing. There is no such thing as TMI for a gynecologist. It, it doesn't exist. <laughs> all right. I'm all about the TMI. So Dr. Gibber Lenz actually recorded a night out with some gynecologist. She's calling it the Vagina Dialogues. <laughs> Crazy day. Our patient. This is great. I had this patient, and she thought she had a tumor. Where? Down there in the JJ. And lo and behold, it was a pimple. And I said, well, what did you do? Well, I shaved. And I said, okay, well, that's okay. You can put some neosporin there, and it'll no. be fine. <laughs> had this patient come in today and she was taking blood control pills and she just can't swallow them. She's nauseous, she's vomiting. So I told her, stick it in your vagina, it gets absorbed. My day began with a over 40 who met a new partner. She thought she had every single STD known to mankind. That's why you have to really make sure they always use a condom. She goes, I'm not using one. Please. You still get pregnant. I know. You still get STD. I'm like, oh my lordy. Well, let's cheers to that. <laughs> a long, long day. I should have been a gynecologist. Oh, you have no idea. But you know, the, <laughs> the biggest secret, actually, is, is that gynecologists are talking about women. What well, are you guys saying? Here's the thing. You know, just because my day doesn't look like your day, it's still a day at the office. And mm -hmm. I need to decompress at the end of the day, too. The most important thing to know is we're not naming names. We're not, you know, identifying any specific features. And we're really totally not judging because we've all been there. But, you know, I have a crazy day. I have had every bodily fluid you can imagine on me. I <laughs> have what I, I call the opportunity on a daily basis to explore the most fabulous purse ever, the vagina. People lose <laughs> things in there. People leave things in there. I got to get it out. Oh, my God, I didn't know it was there. You know, it's kind of crazy. So I come home, my poor kids <laughs> and my husband, they hear some interesting things. But we're, we're not judging. We're really not. All right. So... <laughs> Let's start off with some of these secrets then. The one is that gynecologists, you argue, are grossed out by your smell. Yeah, so you know how I said I wasn't judging you? I lied. Yes. And it's not what you think. It's not what you think. Here's the deal. You guys come in. You're so worried about did you groom? Did you wax? Did you shave? I didn't wax or shave for you either, just so you know. <laughs> but you know what's closest to my face? Your feet. So those fabulous, you know, adorable flats you came in that I was admiring, please don't take them off because <laughs> it's not pleasant. I would have never thought about yeah. that. Yeah, well, I didn't think about it until I started doing it either. That's right. <laughs> you know? Of course, it's close. You'd smell it. Totally, more. very close. The next secret is that gynecologists actually use lube from the kitchen. Yeah, okay, so here's my theory on this, and it's backed up by science. If you're going to put something in your vagina, it should be something you would actually put in your mouth. I happen to love coconut oil and safflower oil. It's great if you don't want the odor. Um, they're going to stay slicker longer. I know. Well, that's, come on. We're going to see. We're going to check it out. It's going to be good. Come on over. We're going to demonstrate this. Let me show you exactly what Dr. Yeah, Gilbert is saying. On. I'm learning a lot of things that I learned at the vagina. Very exciting. the purse, which I could never have said. But now you can yes. say it. I learned that if you can't put it in your mouth, you can't put it down there. I, I mean, would prefer you would sites. not. I mean, you know. All right. So I mean, I'm going to do the copacetic part. You do the more... Uh, I don't know. The work Provocative intensive. Provocative part. The work intensive okay, part. Okay, okay. Right. So okay. this is the surface of the, the vagina. Right. Uh, and when you talk about commercial lubricants, like this, for example, they are rapidly absorbed. See, it's pretty much, as soon as I put it on, it's gone. Yeah. And especially if there's any rubbing going on in there, uh, it disappears. And, of course, that leaves the skin right. dry. Right. Sometimes causes stickiness. And yeah. that little stickiness is the opposite yeah. of what you it's want. It's kind of nasty. Okay, so here is coconut oil. When it's... Um, cold enough, it'll stay solid, so it's really portable, which is kind of cool. And when you um, work it on the surface, first of all, you can get it a little bit thicker. And is that how much you normally use? Well, it depends on how big your purse is, right? It's <laughs> 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 a look. Different, different kind of show. <laughs> but look at this. See, when you, when you warm it up, I mean, it's freezing in here, but when you warm it up, 
Yeah. It's going to get, it's going to um, absorb a little bit, but not totally, and it stays slick longer. So you're avoiding that stickiness, you're avoiding that friction, yeah. and, and it's, it's really lovely. And it's not absorbed into the skin. Exactly. So you, I mean, obviously, I can't even tell I put it here, and right. here you've got coconut oil right. hanging out. Safflower oil, you mentioned. That's works a great well. alternative if people don't want the tropical, you know, flavor to their experience. Um, I, but <laughs> safflower is awesome. It's really light. It's really <laughs> nice, and you could put a couple of drops of like a nice organic essential oil, just a couple of drops to add some aroma, other healing properties. You should develop a product line. Oh, dude, I'm all over it. <laughs> all <right. laughs>